Hello everybody, my name is Ostabogo, and welcome back to Ninghan Farms. It's been a little while since the last episode, which we've had, uh, we hit 200 subscribers, which is really, really cool. It's super mind-blowing. Um, I want to thank each and every one of you. Like, it's just absolutely crazy. I honestly didn't think we'd make it this far already in this channel. So just thank you so, so much for that. And um, another thing, with this video, I actually kind, kind of have a little bit of a cold. I have kind of a stuffy nose and sore throat. But we're going to try to, you know, get this farm work done, keep all the energy going. I'm going to just farm on like real farmers do. I know when they get sick, they go out and they farm. So I'm going to follow in their footsteps. All right, first thing today, we'll check the sheep. They need some uh, some hay and some water, it looks like. And the class is at the other side of the yard. Uh, let me go run over there real fast. All right, we'll fire it up and head on over to the sheep. Okay, so first things first, we're going to grab a hay bale and see if the sheep want to eat it. I bet they do. And this morning is very beautiful here in Australia, Ninghan Farms. It's all misty and it just, it looks nice. It's a nice morning here in Australia. I think you took some hay. Did you take some hay? Yes, you did. So we'll go ahead and just put this hay bale back. And it looks like we're getting a lot of wool too. We might go ahead and grab that one full pallet. Okay, let's be professional about this. This is what professionals look like whenever they do it yep professionalism we'll go ahead and put this pallet in with the others and then one day we'll just sell them all at the same time and hopefully get quite a bit of money there we go and then let's hook onto the water trailer and get these sheep some water okay so the sheep are all nice and good and taken care of their cleanliness can wait till next time whenever we feed them so let's go ahead and move on. We're going to go into the Valtra and take a look at our map and see if our grass field is ready. Okay, so while the Valtra is warming up here, we're going to go ahead. Let's look at the map. This is our grass field, field number 21. It's planted with grass. I think we planted it a few episodes ago, like second or third episode, something like that. And it does look ready. So it's, yep, ready to harvest. We're going to go ahead and hook onto the mowers with the Vultra and see if we can't get that all cut. It should be 100% fertilized too. I remember we fertilized it when we first got that John Deere fertilizer spreader. I think that was the first job that we used the fertilizer spreader for actually. Alright, there's the mowers. So hopefully we can kind of jingle jangle in this shed and connect them all. This Vultra has a really really nice turning circle. This is an awesome tractor. Alright, mowers are all attached. We're going to have to pick up the back ones here. And I think they won't hit the roof. Let's hope they don't. Now these mowers are a little bit smaller than the average mower in Farming Simulator because these are kind of like styled after an older John Deere butterfly mower. And the newer ones are of course much bigger because there's bigger tractors now. So these ones are, they're, they're really good size, but they are a little bit smaller than the average mowers. Okay, so let's head on down to field 21. Now, I gotta say, this is a beautiful tractor. This, these, these mowers look really, really good on it. And I've missed my turning. Okay, hopefully I don't miss it now. There we are. This is our field number 21. Of course, we have our nice little trash pit. We've got our old golf cart, you know, we got some old junky Valtras, you know, bunch of trash here, big old shipping container. Okay, let's go ahead, we'll make a measurement and see how moist it is. Okay, I kind of forgot how to use this. That's the growth, which 67 is as tall as it's going to get because of seasons, I think. And it is ready to harvest. Grass is all good. Now, I can't remember if this right here is the moisture or this is the moisture I'm thinking this is like the the plant moisture and this is the ground moisture so I'm I'm just gonna cut it and if we have to tet it then we will I think we have a tether but that may be a problem if we don't then we'll just have to go and get one at the store okay let's fire these bad boys up yes yeah, so we're gonna have to tet it if we want hay too moist too moist to grass so 
let me actually see I'm gonna run back down to the farm real fast and see if we have a cheddar that we can connect the class to I found a cheddar let me go grab the class so my plans for this field is to cut it and bale it as hay for our sheep so then we don't have to keep buying hay from the shop which we already do have quite a bit of hay and that might last us but it's it's nice to have you know plentiful amounts of hay especially if you have animals like sheep okay so that should be all working good our uh, our helper mr um john here is gonna help us that's uh that's his name mr john so we'll just go ahead and fire up the vulture again and we should be good to go after i release the parking brake looks like everything is going good nothing's broke so far so i mean that's a good sign already now today is the actual the first day of summer so we can't really plant any crops anymore that's why i wanted to get it planted in the last episode and all in the ground so we didn't have to worry about it today and, and then we have our source of income field number it used to be three thirty six over here is planted as well so we we've planted that with soybeans i think it is yeah soybeans so next time whenever it comes to harvest time then we'll pull out our john deere and our i think we have a new holland and a john deere combine so we'll pull those out and it'll be good it'll be a nice big harvest and we should get tons and tons of money from that field because it is absolutely huge and hopefully we can we're able to make um another cutting with this i want to try to do silage hopefully we've got our two silage pits back at the farm and i think that'd be a really cool thing to do we might even lease a forage harvester and we could you know one with a mower on the front and we could spit it straight into a trailer and not even have to rake it and do all the loading wagon mess but anyway let's get mowing all good and nice and good and tedded and the hay can sit there in the sun and dry out now for the next thing we're gonna have to hop in the case of course the case this is a 240 cvx case puma and we have the narrow tires on there which it looks really funny because of our fertilizer spreader um it doesn't have narrows so I could have just kept the wide tires on this Puma, but you know, that's not the way we do it over here. We got to make everything look funny. 
Okay, so for my plan for this is to go until I run out, basically. And once I run out, then we'll head over to the shop and see if we can buy some more fertilizer. I'm going to see how far this lasts me. I'm thinking it's going to last me a decent ways because this does have a really, really big tank. And it's looking like that. Yeah, we're staying on 25% for a while here. So hopefully we can get this field and field... 11 down there like right across the road hopefully we can get those two fertilized and if not then we'll just wait till next episode but yeah i think i think this is a really nice setup i like the john deere better than the case of course but you know it's all right the case is all right it'll pull it so i'll just use it maybe one day we'll think about upgrading the case to something better fertilizer buggy is very very efficient in the way that it uses its fertilizer I, I would have thought that we would never have enough fertilizer and we only used like half of it that we had which was 25% now we're at 12 it's got a huge huge tank and it's got a widespread I mean I would think that you know because of how big the spread is on this fertilizer spreader that it go through fertilizer a lot quicker but no, it's not, and I had my gas still on. Basically, the way that I have my setup is I have my joystick, and it's got like the little... So for airplanes, they have like the little throttle. I put that as my throttle as well, so then I can just put it all the way up, and then the tractor will go, and I don't have to keep holding the foot pedal. And I forgot to turn that down. That's why I went crazy into the neighboring field, which was also mine, so... I think maybe next episode we'll run and grab some fertilizer and we'll go ahead. Let's go and check the hay once we put this case up. I think we'll just park it in this this barn. And in the next episode we will go ahead and bale the hay if it's ready and I'll dry it out. Which hopefully it will be. It should be. Alright, let's go ahead and head to the grass field. Alright, here we are if I don't smash in any bushes. Yeah it's it's looking pretty good it's nice and tetted for sure i'm i mean i'm glad that we had a tether and we didn't have to run to the shop and grab one that's really nice but i mean it's looking good uh it's it's looking really good and it should be dry um it, it'll dry out this afternoon and it should be dry by tomorrow and then we can uh rake it all up and bale it and then we'll have a bunch of hay for our sheep and we might even look into um, getting some more sheep we have that Johnston trailer that has like the little sheep attachment that you can put on it and it's our flatbed and it's really cool I really really do like it we'll go ahead and attach back to the, the Johnston trailer the flatbed right here so then next time whenever we go to get fertilizer and seed and all that then it'll just be all attached and ready to go and we can just take the class and the man down there or m-a-n i'm not sure is it m-a-n or man 
Someone tell me down in the comments. That'd be greatly appreciated. But thank you so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe while you're down there. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.